Good afternoon everyone, Land Rover Girl here and as promised for vlog two, we're going to take a look under Bonnie Lad. I'm going to start out with the front. As you can see, we've got the front grille, front grille, headlights, reg plate and the underneath sort of steering guard that is standard on the Freelanders, which is plastic. Everything on here is primarily plastic. There's plenty of things here that need to be replaced or have already rotted away, sadly. Here, there's not much left of anything to do with the brakes. Uh, the brake pipes, pr <laughs> excuse me, the brake pipes here have completely rotted away. So there will be a lot to replace um, concerning brake discs, brake pads, calipers, brake pipes. Um, Um, discs, sorry, pads. The disc, uh, discs actually aren't in bad, bad a shape, as you can see here. They're something that aren't the best. Obviously, it's not brand new. If you can get a good look. And next up, I'm going to talk about the engine. And behind me is the engine, which I am not going to stand directly under. However, this is something we're going to keep. And as you can see, there's the engine right there. I'm going to do a few more close-up shots and show you a tiny little bit of damage from the wind that was caused to the engine. However, it's something that can be and will be replaceable. So it's not the end of the world and we are going to still keep it. And hopefully it'll go to some good use. So here I am directly underneath the engine without actually standing underneath the engine. And if you look closely, there is a hole just underneath this plate, which is the bottom of the engine, which will, will only need to be replaced, nothing else. As you see, it's only bolted in by several different bolts. It's, um, it's just something that, that happened, but, but it is, oops. If we follow the exhaust from front to back, as you can see from here, it's in pretty good condition all the way across. So if we follow the pipes right to the end, this drum will be able to be taken off and also salvaged. But sadly, there is quite a lot of rust and corrosion under here, which, was gonna, which is our main concern if it was going to be a restoration project. Um, I mean, bits are falling off everywhere. There is a good bit underneath the, the tires. I remember one of the, I think if I'm correct, this, this brake drum was sticking or the brakes were sticking. So we used to, every morning when I get up, I'd have to tap with a chisel. I'm sure a lot of people know the good old hammer and chisel technique to get the brakes unstuck. There's no wonder things were starting to stick a little bit and I'm pretty sure this one was starting to stick as well. Both rear tires. Now, this is something we will be keeping. The tow bar, that's gonna come off. There's just a tiny little, tiny little twist, which I caught um, as I went down a track on billing, um, all fault of my own, sadly. I was going a little bit too too quick down the wrong hole. The Freelander being um, very low um, ground clearance, 
sadly uh, just caught this and it was a lot more bent. We fortunately managed to push it back into place, but this, this part here was just twisted upwards slightly. But it still was completely functional and serviceable with the, dam with the slight damage and it's functionable now. And there's still a few little memories of that, of the time at Billing. And if we take this off, and if we take this off, there's nothing wrong at all with the bolts. There's no rust on there. It's just gonna come off all, hopefully without no fuss, and tidied up. Who knows? Now, I'm just going to come away from Bonnie Lad just for a moment while I show a few things again that have been taken off and are already going to be uh, kept. It's all going to be things that can be reused on another Freelander or it's going to be kept for safekeeping. So here we have the keep table, which is everything so far that's come off the Freelander we are going to keep. We've got the prop shaft over here, which actually hasn't been put back on for quite some time. That's the four wheel drive. So. We're definitely going to be keeping that, um, whether there's another Freelander that could do with it. Uh, drive shafts, drive, bear with me, I've not actually seen these before, but they do look like they'd make good weights, but um, <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Ah, now this will be much more, you much more recognisable to you than it is to me, but the transfer box is in very good nick, the IRD, but it's... I know it as the transfer box. Um, we're going to keep that and it doesn't need much done to it. It's in good nick. And over here, we also have some of the suspension pieces or little bits that have been taken off. What I presume so far are the front wheels because we still don't have the back wheels off. Just needs a little bit of a clean off, a bit of rust removed, but all in all, little bits that can be restored and reused on other Land Rovers, which at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So here we have quite a good selection so far of pieces that can all be reused excuse me i've got a rogue chicken as well yeah all the stuff here is going to be reused and passed on to other land rovers hopefully after it's been cleaned up and i also realize we have another rogue chicken in here so i will just be right back if anyone's wondering why our chickens are slightly purple they are rescue chickens and it's a spray that also helps us from Pecking themselves and each other, which is not something you want your chickens to do. Hello. So yeah, she's showing you all the pinky purple on her feathers, and it's just a sort of antibacterial spray to help her out. So you've noticed, you may have noticed there are quite a lot of chickens here. <laughs> As you can see here, we've also got the front front subframe off, which is not in the worst condition but it could also do with a bit of cleaning up. It's definitely something that's still worth saving though. So as you can see here, we've got some of the bits already taken off and the main frame of it as well, here and here. So there's definitely some good progress already being made and I'll just pop that all back. Behind me here are the General Grabber AT tires that we were fortunate, fortunate enough to find last year for Bonnie Lad in preparation for summer. Um, these are all-terrain tyres and we have very similar on the Discovery 1, which um, are the 83, which I can't fault. We were very looking forward to taking these down to Billing and giving them a go, uh, especially with um, a, raised, a raised ground clearance, it would, have been, um, it would have been ideal. However, they're in good nick, so if anyone's interested, please get in touch. I, uh, I don't want to see these go to waste. The, uh, they came with Freelander wheels on them, so they are pretty much good to go. Here's just a quick little close-up. As you can see, nice tread, really hardly been worn. So they definitely need to get used on something, preferably a Freelander. These are the original wheels that came with Bonnie Lad, which are road tires. I have well used by this point. The spare tire on the back, I'm going to be keeping the wheel cover and I'm pretty sure the tyre uh, underneath is bald as well. Um, like I said before, the exhaust is in pretty good condition, so that's going to be taken off and kept all the way around to the front. Um, I can give you a quick view of that again. So if we look here, as you can see there is quite a lot of rust. Um, sadly, 
it's not ideal. Another thing that we realised actually, um, if it hadn't, if we hadn't have had the little accident on the ramp, we wouldn't have realised for at least a year, I think, that a lot of this has corroded. I may have mentioned it in my previous video briefly, but we will go back into this a little bit more when um, when we're back on the ground. However, as you can see, it's not ideal up in there and all this, I mean, Anyways, I think we're going to wrap that vlog up there for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit more of what's underneath the uh, Bonnie Lad. I'll get a few photos and lots of uh, uh, other things. There has already been quite a bit of interest in Bonnie Lad. So please do get in touch if there's anything that might have caught your eye in this vlog or upcoming ones. Um, I'm more than happy if you can arrange delivery or postage of some sort, I'm more than happy to donate things to anyone who might need them or could use them. So please do, don't be shy, get in touch if something does catch your interest.